Hey, Byron's on camera on this channel. You know what that means. It's Nintendo Direct Predictions time. I'm here with Slade. And today we're going to go over potential predictions for a Nintendo Direct. That will happen sometime this month, maybe. Well, I know Nintendo in the past have uh, subverted expectations, but I think the last like three years in a row, we've had a direct this month. Yeah. Here so, in February. And it's that fever pitch. If you're a Nintendo fan on the internet to any degree, you feel the fever pitch right now. Of a, yeah, of the everybody's Nintendo like, direct. where's the direct? Nintendo? Where is it? We're starving. <laughs> and everyone's like freaking out about it, which is great. Except us. So. We're, we're just chilling, waiting for the Nintendo sales numbers uh, as of like tomorrow when we're recording this on Monday. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, without further ado, Let's get into some of our predictions. Let's. So, obviously, there's the big elephant in the room. The Game of the Year candidate that uh, yeah. everybody has been talking about. Let's just get this out of the way yeah. early. Obviously, we know we're going to see some content from the sequel to Breath of the Wild, Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Yep. Um, I think they're going to close the direct with it because uh, I think somebody on Twitter made a pretty good point that uh, it doesn't make sense for them to open up with it. When that game's probably 90% of the reason why everyone's going to watch this direct to begin with anyway. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point. Make people watch the whole direct for it. Because, like, they're not going to open with it. That would be the, one of the dumbest things they could do. Because people would just tune the fuck out. <laughs> they want people there as long as possible. So I think that is a, a pretty good prediction. Uh, I'm going to give you one. We're getting a special edition system. A special edition Switch? Yeah. Special edition Switch OLED for Tears of the Kingdom. That makes a lot of sense, actually, because uh, they've done special editions for, like, a lot of their major titles. In fact, I think they did a special edition Switch for Skyward Sword, didn't they? Um, they did Joy-Cons, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they did Joy-Cons. They the didn't do a whole-ass system. And we had the had a, a the Skyward Sword. We... There, uh, the Wii U had the Wind Waker Wii U. We haven't had anything for Switch yet, and Zelda typically gets uh, these past few generations a special edition console, so ma would make yeah. sense. No, oh, absolutely, that definitely makes a lot of sense to me. Um, okay, so we're gonna knock out pretty much all the freebies that we absolutely yeah. have, like a huge inkling that's gonna be there inkling uh, speaking of inkling we're probably going to see information on splatoon 3 dlc or free lc yep splatoon 3 dlc yep uh I'll, I'll throw a freebie mario kart 8 deluxe booster course pass wave 4 yep. that's that's another freebie for i me. think that's uh, a pretty huge freebie Yep. Uh, one that I consider a freebie that we're going to see that I don't think anybody would be surprised to see. I'm going to move off the DLC just for a minute. Mm -hmm. I think we will see the announced release date of Advance Wars Reboot Camp. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's been enough time. It's been the, the, the controversy of why Advance Wars was, can was uh, not canceled. <laughs> At least not yet. I hope it doesn't get canceled. But Yeah, uh, dear God. Imagine that would be terrible. Game. But, but yeah, like I think that it's it's been a year. Like I'm gonna predict an April release month because April Slade is suspiciously empty on Nintendo's schedule. Uh, yeah, I would say so. I yeah. think a lot of months are emptier right now. But yeah, and, and this would going. go against what I predicted, that Advance Wars would just drop and, like, no hype. There's going to be a little bit of hype. Not too much, like, two months or so of hype. Like, and, and then I just think it's done from there. I was actually going to go a step in the opposite direction. I think they straight up shadow drop it the day of the direct. Oh, you think they pull, like, a hi-fi rush on us? Yeah. Wow. I think they do because the game's been complete for well over a year. Obviously, people were expecting it. I think it's one of those things where uh, they're not going to advertise a lot or really at all for it. Um, yeah. They're just going to fucking drop it out there, you know, cross their fingers, which 
I don't know if that's exactly a recipe for success in regards to reboot well, camp. Well, to, to be fair, Slade, Advanced Wars was not going to have any success after it got, like, delayed the first time, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> so I think that's what they did in regards to that. Okay, but, uh, interesting. Moving on to our next predictions. Uh, I guess I'll just group up uh, the RPG, so to speak, of their DLC. Okay. So obviously, I think we see both Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC and Fire Emblem Engage hmm. DLC as well. I don't know about Xenoblade. I what don't do you mean know. You don't know about Xenoblade. I, I don't. I don't think we see it here. I don't well, know why. The reason why I'm pretty sure we're going to see it because all their DLC is slotted to come out this year, and they had in the previous direct announcement where they showed off a character. Yeah. For DLC, which was like extremely low effort, unlike their part overall, compared to like the large expansion that you know. Yeah. Golden Torno was for Xenoblade Chronicles Two. Yeah. I think we get another like trailer for like a small set DC. Now, do I think we see our large expansion DLC in this one? No. Oh, I oh we well, see yeah, from yeah. It. I yeah. I was under the assumption you thought we were going to get the big enchilada for Xenoblade no, 3. No, it, it yeah. is not yet time for our enchilada. And then for Fire Emblem Engage, uh the DLC seems to come in the form of paralogues for the most part, so like additional like one map, extra chapter, and extra engage unit. So, yeah. uh, I think we'll see one or two of them announced here. Okay, yeah, I could see that. Uh, well, you know what? Let's hop back on board the DLC train. Uh, Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope DLC. I think I think we see that at this Nintendo Direct. Yeah, I'm actually kind of curious because I know the game underperformed, like, expectations. Yeah, we covered that a while back. <laughs> I guess um, we'll get more concrete numbers on that tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow but, uh, at the time we're recording, yeah. Because those juicy sales numbers, me and Slade's one of our favorite things to cover. On, on but if it only sold, like, 400 or 500k, what is the possibility they just don't do DLC for it? I don't think it's sold that bad. That would be like Advanced Wars bad. <laughs> I don't think it yeah. sold that bad because I think the original sold like by the original Mario and Rabbit sold like five million or something like that. Yeah, it would definitely be really interesting, especially since now it's actually competing with Fire Emblem. In uh, yeah, to, like, that actually, game. yeah. <laughs> and I think Fire Emblem, even though I don't think it like sold like Buku bucks or whatever, I think it's actually still like gotten past that awakening level well of I, we're not gonna get fire emblem sales numbers unfortunately yeah we're gonna have to wait another like three months for that yeah which is <sighs> but that's okay yeah we will know more as the time yeah. comes uh, but, uh, and speaking of series that we're gonna hear about the sales numbers of i think we get more a lit just a wee bit more info about that bayonetta origins game at the nintendo direct yeah, I have that as one of my freebies yep. as well. So, uh, Bayonetta Origins. Yeah, that was announced at the Game soon, Awards actually. to the shock of, like, everybody. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to see a, a little bit more information on that as well. Uh, I guess we're coming up towards the end of our uh, quote-unquote freebies that I think we're going to see. Um, yeah. I think we see some stuff for Octopath Traveler too. That game's pretty hot in the oven and coming out pretty soon. Yeah, like a "Hey, it's coming soon" type of deal. Because and... because we were talking the other day, like off the record, and uh, Slade was like, "Oh yeah, Octopath Traveler Two is coming soon," and I'm like, "Yeah, it's like coming in like less than three weeks." And Slade's like, "What? What? <laughs> like that soon? Yeah." <laughs> lost track of time i didn't realize it was already almost the end of february it's yeah you, you've just been like taking your time with fire emblem and then octopath's like hurry up <laughs> <laughs> we got things to do <laughs> oh yeah so i think they definitely bring that up here Brian, you got any more freebies because i got like maybe one more uh i don't have any well besides that like we'll see more tears of the kingdom gameplay and stuff yeah yeah Okay, and my last freebie, this was unfortunate because Byron and I were kind of spoiled this by a certain retailer. Uh, we will be seeing Pikmin 4 oh, here. Oh, yeah, I well. forgot about that. Yeah, Pikmin. I, I think that quote-unquote retailer leak is bullshit. I'm not going to say the date, 
in case it turns out to be true, but the date would put it uh, close to a, a major Nintendo title this year. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately that date's true that they're putting it out to die. Which, yeah. I don't know. I think that's kind of on brand for Nintendo, actually. Because I feel like a lot of their IPs, they don't. You know, no, exactly no, no. The game they would. Well. They, honestly, they, I could see them doing that to Advanced Wars. <laughs> I mean, it, it, like we said, Advance oh. Wars already is being put out to pasture. Yeah, but like it could, much, so. it, that could be the one that's put out to pasture instead of Pikmin. Oh lord. Oh lord. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some of our more outlandish predictions because I figured at this point it'd probably be a lot better if we started splitting it between stuff that we all know everyone's gonna be there. And then the actual juicy, spicy stuff that has, like, yeah, or basic, no bearing in reality whatsoever. Yeah, or this segment called Byron Doesn't Think Is Gonna Fucking Happen. <laughs> so, Slade, kick us off before I, I okay, punch it I down. Okay, I do think we see some news for uh, Silk Song. Yeah, I was they gonna say- go Radio Dark. You know, I was Into gonna- say release here, they just I was it. gonna say no- but, like, we are pretty close to it, so actually, I'm gonna agree with you. We're gonna see more of your prof Discord profile picture, Slade. <laughs> yes. We're gonna see I more of the night. I think it's time we see some Silk Song. I think, like, the Microsoft uh, E3 presentation last year saying, yep, it's coming out within a year. Uh, time's ticking. Time's yeah, ticking we're like, down. yeah, we, we're like, we've uh, got four months left. Yeah, yeah, four months away, <laughs> like, yeah. I, I I think we'll see it. I think we'll see it here at the direct. E e if it's the same trailer, that'd be a little bit disappointing. But it'd be something with a release date. At the very least, you get something. Oh yeah, new. with a release date. Yeah, you could probably get away with that. Or or the, it'll probably be mostly the same trailer. We've seen new bits of gameplay. So you know, all those yeah. Hollow Knight YouTubers are gonna go fucking cuckoo bananas. <laughs> oh yeah, just so I can watch any like moss bag video or something about the lore, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> but uh anyways, uh, Byron, what do you got? Uh no NSO news. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. If there. if we get NSO news at a direct, we typically get it in September. Cause you know, September is about when everybody's subs are about to run out or they're thinking about renewing again. So. Yeah, actually, I think you're right in that regard. But I think for in terms of, like, large-scale NSO news, they've kind of operated on an every-other-year kind of schedule in regards to, like, either an addition here or, like, in terms of the console or, like, a massive, like, overhaul or, like, a couple of additional, like, with yeah, the Yeah, because, like, people they've were... They've been doing it every other year. Yeah, because, like, people were like, wait, Game Boy isn't out because we got uh N64 and Genesis instead of Game Boy, which was like what everybody was like speculating we were gonna get next for NSO. Yeah, so I think it would make sense not to see anything at all this year, let alone this direct. But I do agree that we don't see anything yeah, at like, this direct in no, general. Yeah, no no new consoles, no new games. No release dates for the upcoming games, because we still have the two Pokemon Stadium games, 1080 Snowboarding, Mario Party 3, and fuck, there's like one other one, but I'm, I'm forgetting. <laughs> I for gore. I for gore. Uh, you ha I hate it when I for gore. <laughs> okay, so um, I know we're probably going to see some sort of Mario spinoff come out this year there's like absolutely zero chance they don't release no, any form of like no form of mario media so mm. i think we see some mario spinoff i don't think it's mario party or anything like that no no um, Mar no 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 I, I i agree i don't think it's mario party mario party i'm gonna keep saying this mario party is gonna be the multiplayer game to launch with nintendo's next generation yeah, I'm going to go with the popular rumor that's going around. I think we might see a Mario baseball title. I can't come out. fucking And the reason why that makes sense to me is because, like, I feel like it makes a lot of sense with the Switch's controls. Yeah, but I fucking can't wait for 18 characters and three stadiums at fucking launch. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think we may get a new Mario movie trailer. Maybe. Oh! Uh 
No, I think the, uh, at this point, Mario movie trailers have been dropping on like Twitter and advertisements or whatever. True, we I did. Think we already figured out how they're gonna. <laughs> true, we that. did just finally see Seth Rogen as DK, and it fits way too well. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, oh, I assume you've seen the. Fucking, yeah, I assume you've seen you the. Die. You're gonna die now. <laughs> Me. Yeah. Is that how that's funny? And now you die. Yeah. And then just watches die. the screen. Yeah. And the laugh. The laugh, man. The laugh is what fits. Yeah. And now you die shit. It's like, wow, that was gruesomely like serious. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I, I guess we could see a mainline spinoff. I know people have been speculating. We're gonna get a new 2D Mario or a new 3D Mario. Nah, get nah, like get that out the window. No, we're not yeah, seeing any new 2D. At the very least, we're not, not seeing any new direct. 3D. Yeah, I agree. Not this direct. I think that's something they would do for September for the following year. But well, well, for, know, for, there's a lot of things they could do in September that we that Byron and I are gonna cover. Well, well, for the uh, next generation of hardware, though. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. But uh, uh, none of that here today. No yep. new hardware here today. Yep. Um, um, okay, right. I, I've got a spicy one. Okay. No Metroid. <laughs> no Metroid. Oh, I, I we're not, we're curious. not. It's Metroid Prime. That Get that out of here. Metroid Prime 1, remake, remake remastered, the trilogy. No. Prime 4, we're probably at minimum. September Direct is when we may first see that again. Minimum. I'm glad we disagree, Byron. Oh, we, oh you think, think we're going to see now it. <laughs> it's finally time that we see Metroid Prime Trilogy. <sighs> it's finally time. Yeah. I think we have gone long enough from the announcement of the delay of Metroid Prime 4 yeah. that... Whatever Retro has been up to, they switched to Metroid Prime. They had to have made substantial progress on it at this point. Yeah. I think we see some footage of Metroid Prime 4 with the release date of 2024. I don't think they hold that back for September. I think they open up the direct with it to, like, get the hype train really going. Really? You think they open? That's interesting. That's and interesting. And everyone's there for Zelda news. But yeah. then you hit him something with them, like, huge at the beginning. And then people are like, okay, at first, you had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Yeah, like, okay. Like, I, if Metroid's gonna be there, I don't think it is. And I, I do think it's a package deal if Prime 1 Remake or Prime Trilogy coming to Switch exists. It's a package deal. You're gonna have to have both of them there. It, oh, yeah, it, again, I definitely it, think we see something Metroid Prime. I don't, trilogy, I don't think so. I don't think... I think, I think it's time. I think Nintendo are really going to be fucking patient with this one. They I think uh, they think the Metroid Prime fans have been blue-balled long enough. Look, I, I'm a fucking Ape Escape fan. I've been blue-balled like these blue lights behind me here yeah, for like a, a decade. Franchise. It ain't Metroid. <laughs> it fucking sold better than Metroid, though. I mean, at the time, sure. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right. What's your uh, next prediction, Barn? All right. Um. No F Zero. People have been retalking about that fucking series again. It's like every every like seven to eight months, we get new talk of F Zero, and I'm like, yeah. stop. Like, no. Well, I if you're we're gonna, gonna go back to talking about freebies, but there's also gonna be no Star Fox. Yeah. Star Fox is dead. It's yeah. Dead. Yeah. Star Fox is dead. F Zero is dead. Just just sit sit in the corner together with like Chibi Robo. And Yeah, unfortunately. And the other forgotten Nintendo franchises. Uh uh. A couple more like I think freebies. We're gonna see another trailer for Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. We're also going to get the announcement of something that was very unfortunately leaked. So. Uh, third party th game I think we see there. Uh, Dolkapon Kingdom Connect. I think we get a little trailer for that. Like, hey, it's coming soon to Switch. Yeah, I actually agree. I think that's something that we're going to see. I don't think it's necessarily like a freebie because like Dolkapon's kind of just been a very under the radar yeah, series but, like, for Nintendo. Having it, like it's a Switch exclusive. 
like fuck it why not have it as part of the direct as one of the third party games yeah it seems like uh, in a lot of these uh directs nintendo pays a lot of love to like square enix in particular out of all the third parties yeah i feel like square enix is probably the most prominently featured third party out of all of them so i do think we get some news and some square enix games like dragon quest hd 2d yeah dragon quest 3 hd 2d yeah yep as well as some other square enix titles i know i already bitched octopath traveler is the freebie but yep typically these presentations this early in the year have two or three square enix titles because let's be real the switch is a system of rpgs yeah, fucking the last general Nintendo Direct. <laughs> fucking farming games, JRPGs, up the wazoo. Yeah, expect that to continue. No, uh, does... honestly, I maybe September. Because that, that Direct is usually around, like, Tokyo Game Show. And that's well, probably I mean, why we got like... so many fucking farming JRPGs. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, but I feel like... People were like, oh, that last Direct was, like, heavy on the RPGs and, like, farming simulators. Most Directs, at least a third of their content have been RPGs. Like, that's not just something that's unique to the last Direct. That's I, I guess maybe Direct because the... I guess maybe because the last Direct didn't space them out as much. Yeah, the last Direct was, like, 90% that. Whereas I'm saying most Directs didn't generally are, like, 30% Yeah, but they, they space like them that. out well. So that it doesn't feel like there's so many JRPG RPGs. Yeah, but so. basically what I'm saying is we're going to see our fair share of RPGs here. And yeah. uh, that ties into my next prediction. We're going to see something from the uh, Neon Falcom's Trail series here because the Switch seems to be the most prominent platform that these release. So yeah. we could either see Trails into Reverie or like maybe... Uh, Trails of uh, Zero or Trails into Azure or something. Just one of those three games. Yeah. That really recently released on Steam. So. Yeah. Um, I'm out of predictions, actually, funnily enough. Oh, okay. So now it's time for me to get Yeah, now it's time spicy. for you to, to bring it on home. And let's see if I okay. agree or disagree with you. So that is the end of what I would consider the most likely stuff. And yes, I did say Metroid Prime. Something's likely. Yeah, I, 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 dis- I will still disagree <laughs> with that. But, but now for some of my more outlandish predictions okay. that I think have a puncher's chance. Puncher's Not chance. exactly stuff that I think is like, Oh, this is guaranteed. Now, this is things that I could see happening. Okay. So I think we could see some form of Donkey Kong title. Oh. I don't know whether that's going to be like a 2D Donkey Kong platformer. Or I, I think the 3D Donkey Kong idea is like absolutely crazy. And there's zero shot that that's what Nintendo Now, now, now hold on. on. Like, I like the idea of a 3D Donkey Kong. Just don't go in the direction of DK64 having, I think, like, if not the most, if not one, some of the most amount of collectibles in a video game. Please, don't go that I, route, please. I don't have a problem with uh, it being a collect-a-thought. I had a problem with you having to backtrack with five yeah, different I, characters yeah, into the same like, areas for it. If you could I think just if collect- you just go every area once, it's fine. Yeah, like, and, and pe- the, people have made fucking mods of that. Like, for emulators, or for, like, a, maybe a future fucking uh, PCD comp. Because no, those are, those are think, in uh, these days. 3D platformers have kind of aged past that point. I feel like the last time a 3D platformer didn't quite have that 100% figured out was ukulele. And it rightfully got a little bit lambasted for yeah. not, you know, growing with the time. So and, and, and look, maybe Platonic has learned their lesson from that. Yeah. Speaking of which, I don't think we see anything Platonic here. Yeah, um, not yet. I think that's going to be reserved for an indie presentation. Yeah. Or something like that. Uh, I think we see another trailer for the Mega Man Battle Network uh, HD remasters. When is that supposed to come out? Uh, pretty dang soon. I can actually look. It's like, like I, I guess I could really see it as part of. Network collection. I guess I could see it as part of like the third party sizzle reel. Yeah, because they're gonna do a third party sizzle reel. Maybe, maybe that's where Dokapon ends up. <laughs> Yeah. In the also, third party that's coming single. out in April. That's coming out in April. April. So. Yeah, I think Dolkapon is as well. 
Or at least, yeah. like, it's supposed to come out sometime in the spring, so. And uh, I also think that uh, we will see... I'm going to drum up some suspense. All right, Slade. <laughs> what are we going to see? We will see? see fucking Minecraft Legends here, that's right. We're going to see some more Minecraft content. Because uh, we know that's a game coming out to Switch later this year as well. Yeah, I think it's might be part of that third-party sizzle reel, but... Yeah, I mean, I think there's going to be a lot of games in that sizzle reel, and obviously we're not going to be able to call out literally every one of them. Yeah. But uh, I think that's just about it for my predictions. I think the Donkey Kong title would probably be my most outlandish yeah, like, one. Yeah, like, there's a chance, but, like, I don't think with... Re unless, like, they have, like, an internal studio doing it, which is very possible. Maybe that's what they've been working on since Mario Odyssey and Bowser's Fury. Maybe that's what's been been in the pipeline. Yeah, the, the, the team behind 3D Mario what yeah, has may, to have been working on something. Maybe maybe they're making Mario. 3D Donkey Kong. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck really knows? Uh, now, before we go, Byron, is there anything we haven't said that you would like to see? What I would like point? to see? Honestly, not really. At the, well, not really at this point. No. Well, Mario Baseball be fucking good if it's real, but that's that's all I'm gonna fucking say. I don't have a roster of 18 characters and three stadiums at launch, like a lot of the other Mario sports games at launch. Fucking lacking of content. Great gameplay, but lacking content. And then game dies within like a year or so. Yeah. Like, no, For me, really. I would like to see, this is an outlandish idea that will literally never happen, mm -hmm. a HD remake of Super Mario RPG, but that'll yeah, never that's happen. That's your forever dream, Slade. Yeah, that's my forever dream. Yeah. That, or they add more characters to Mario Kart, a DLC, and Gina as a playable character. Yeah, that, One that's or the right. other. I don't need both. Uh, I'm not a uh, picky or demanding person. Alrighty, so before we go, what do we think will open and what do we think will close the direct? Well, I've already uh, mentioned what I think we're going to open with, and that's going to be the Metroid Prime something news. Whether it's just a trailer of foreign, like, don't worry, we're still developing the game or whatever. Mm -hmm. Here's a sneak peek. Mm -hmm. And then obviously we both agreed that their ending was Zelda because yeah. they can't put it at the beginning because everybody will leave. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit crazy. Uh, we're going to open up with Mario Kart 8 DLC. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's my crazy, no like, I start off with a bang, new Mario Kart tracks. That's I don't know if that's starting off with a bang, though, because, like, Nintendo's kind of got the direct format figured out to where, basically, you give us a, what I call a hype sandwich, where okay. the hype is yeah. the bread, and then you just put everything else in between. Okay, you know what? Pikmin 4, then. That'll open it. Yeah. Honestly, Pikmin yeah, I can four. see that, too. Pikmin 4. There's my official prediction. Pikmin 4 opens, Tears of the Kingdom closes, and Pikmin 4 is not releasing on that BS date. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... <laughs> and if it does, we'll be back here saying, yeah, Pikmin's a dead franchise. <laughs> yeah. So tomorrow, we're going to obviously be covering the sales numbers, so look forward to that. We uh, might well... even have more information to go off of maybe well yeah that that, that sales video may come out first who knows who, yeah, who knows? really knows yeah but, who uh, knows who knows if you see this the direct has been announced that's all i'm gonna say on that oh one. so you're not even gonna drop the video unless like there's a direct like actually yeah we just kind of figured like we would just shoot it out there while everyone's speculating about it like yeah you guys are getting a behind-the-scenes looks on how Byron and I fucking go over these things. But, uh, Love Mal. But anyways, yeah. this has been Slade. And this has been Byron. And uh, get excited, because it's that time of year. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody.